We're here at High Desert Middle School and this morning is the designated day, June 4th, for the 8th graders to drive through and get their diplomas and any awards and also turn in their books at the same time. And I'm happy to say the 8th grade team and some staff and teachers got together and zoom in a little bit. Got together and decided to step it up a little bit for the kids and put a nice backdrop for the kids to take photos if they wish with their families as they drive through. And they're staggering the students between 8 and 12 today I believe so oh there it goes. Backdrop fell but they'll get it up again. So yes, no, um, no formal graduation, no formal commencement, but at least they have their moment if they'd like to take a photo with their family and teachers and keep on driving. And I wanted to say uh, Mr. Spielman, who is retiring after 25 years as a science teacher here for seventh grade, uh, he's here. Um, he also teaches environmental science, so some of the eighth graders have him this year again. And he's here as well. And last week, they had a parade for him, and there were so many cars lined up down this street here in front of the school. For as far as the eye could see, cars lining up waiting to come through the valet line to give him a, a goodbye hug or a picture with him or give him a gift. Just honking, like a honking parade that they did for him and it was really nice. And a lot of past students showed up and it was, it was really nice for him. So I'll include some of those photos in this article today that I'm doing for the High Desert 8th um, graders as well. And I'll include that so you can see. I'm not exactly sure on the number of 8th graders. I believe there's about 130. I'm not exactly sure. I, I think it's 130. And um, they are, like I said, being staggered to drive through today. Here's more pulling up. So. And this is a little bit different than the senior graduation because at the senior drive through it was just, it was a get your diploma and go. They had turned in their books at another time. This, what they're doing today, is everything at once. Turn in your books, and then we'll hand you your diploma and any awards and uh, anything that you left behind in school in your locker. So, it's a little bit different. And what's nice today, too, is that all of the teachers are here. To say goodbye to their kids, which is nice. I had mentioned in my video last week when I went to the senior drive-by diploma disbursement that they were maybe looking at having a formal commencement um, in mid-July, but I think that they've foregone that idea. It wasn't mentioned at the school board meeting, and I think they figured, you know, some of the kids wore their caps and gowns that day, and, and they took pictures at the park, and they kind of had an informal little gathering, and I think they figured that was it. Um, they haven't mentioned it again about having another formal one. I think they realized that was it, but uh, they are talking about having a junior-senior prom at the end of July, around July 25th, I believe, if everything is okay to do it at that time. 
So if they can uh, gather enough students in the summer at that time, they're planning maybe to do that for them. Of course, the eighth graders, they lost out on their Magic Mountain field trip that they do at the end of the year, their formal commencements, their last awards assembly. Um, at the eighth grade awards assembly, what they usually do is they not only get their academic achievement awards, but they also give some special awards for eighth graders on the top 10% of their class, as well as students who achieve in a subject, um, like student of the year in, in, a, in a subject. And those are special awards that they usually give out, but um, they were all, they're all being handed today um, through the ballet. It's very organized. Medal of Honor recipients for third and fourth quarter will be getting their uh, medals today as well. So here are some families. The line is getting a little bit longer now that it's mid-morning. We have the new principal, Mr. Cabela's, out here as well, greeting kids, which he really hasn't had a chance to meet yet because he was hired during this whole COVID thing. Yay! Crazy times. <laughs> and coincidentally, today is also. Um, during this time frame, they also hand out the um, the food for the uh, children in the community. We've done a video on that before, the um, collaboration we have with the state on the grab-and-go meals. So that's happening on the other side of the parking lot today as well. So we got Mr. Spielman singing here. That's awesome. This will be pretty much Mr. Spielman's very last day. He's singing a song. I'm sure he'll be back to visit. And here comes a little car parade. I can hear them. Here they come. In addition to the diplomas that they're handing out now and certificates, they're doing a 6 p.m. Um, virtual YouTube video on the eighth graders and their achievements.
so at least they'll have a video as well as a memento even though it's not the same thing but it certainly is, is nice for the teachers to, to put that together. They also put together a video of um, some of the teachers got together and put a video on uh, their sentiments on the last day of school since there was no open house and that's when they highlight kids and, and some of their favorite moments with the kids. They made a video and sent it to parents which was nice. They also had 8th grade t-shirts done for all the kids that um, say something about the year of the quarantine and so they got all they got t-shirts with their names on it which is nice here's a better look at the backdrop where they're allowing the kids to take photos with their teachers and families Because they're coming in in little spurts, it's really not a big, huge congestion. Everyone's wearing masks, and so it's working out okay. Here's another backdrop photo here, better close-up of it, with the High Desert Hawk. And this is something they usually use when they have award ceremonies um, inside the auditorium for assemblies. But they brought it out today. Alright. Most of them have come through. As we see one of the last cars driving through there, I wanted to correct myself. It's actually about 113 graduates, so I was off by a little bit. I double checked. And there's that final car, it looks like, going through. I think we'll end off the uh, video here close it off with Mr. Spielman there singing a song with the wind blowing as he says goodbye to the last few cars coming in thank you to teachers and staff who really did a great job with today gathering all the awards and all of the things they had to do putting up the backdrop and of course for tonight's video where they will be listing all of the graduates by name and the awards and the co-valedictorians this year who had a, a GPA uh, of equal measure, so there's co-valedictorians. And it looks like there's no more cars coming through there. You can see the Medal of Honor flags there. Definitely a very memorable year not the way everyone expected it to end but definitely memorable and i'm sure that these families appreciate everything that uh, was done to help make this day as special as it could be go hawks now you'll be mustangs